Watch the aggression when you're overtaking. We don't want to lose places because of a penalty.
So, we saw how F1 2010 runs on the Intel Celeron N2840 and Intel HD graphics. The result leaves me with one big question. Why does this 2010 Formula 1 game run at only 15 FPS? Don't get me wrong. I think 15 FPS is actually quite playable for this game due to constant frame skipping and decent handling even with very low FPS. But like, I was rooting for 30 to 40 FPS, or even 25 would have been okay, but no, 15 FPS, in a 2010 racing game. Now I know you guys will comment down below, oh well, this is what you get when you try to play games on a Celeron. Others might tell me to download, whatever that Atlas operating system is. Haters might even point the blame at the RAM, but to prove to you that the reason for the 15 FPS isn't because of the mentioned crap, let's take a look at one of my first videos on this channel. This is Dirt Rally, a 2015 game. Yes, you heard it right, a 2015 game, in the 1024x768 resolution, with the exact same hardware, running better than F1 2010. Crazy right? What's even crazier, is that both games were developed by Codemasters, so I don't get the logic. A 2015 racing game running much better than a 2010 racing game developed by the same developers who developed the 2015 game. But, the big boat, what about a low-end config? Actually, I completely forgot about that. Thanks for reminding me. Now, this game actually has a nice config file. So of course, I spent some time tweaking some stuff in it, in an attempt to squeeze out just a few FPS more. And guess what? I ended up not being able to squeeze out a few FPS more with a Celeron. Because even after modding the config, the game ran practically the same as before. Now that's some extremely disappointing news. If that's the case, I don't think it's worth it sharing my low-end config with you guys. Sorry. So this leaves me with the final option. I really didn't want to do it yet again. But, we will have to make F1 2010 run at a resolution lower than the lowest allowed by default 640x481. This is how to make F1 2010 run at below 640x480. First, open the game and press alt and enter at the same time. This will make the game run at windowed mode. Because lowering the resolution from the config file doesn't work, then you want to make the game window-like. Really tiny, but in my case, I lowered the desktop resolution to 512 by 384 and Windows 10 ended up automatically setting up whatever that resolution is for me to test the game with. But in the end, guess what I got? 16 FPS average. You know what? Let's go even lower than that. There we go, and we are now running it at this pile of garbage of a resolution. Yes that's right, this is even lower than the terrible 200p resolution that I tested so many times on this channel before. Meaning that, in this video, I broke the record for the lowest resolution used in this channel. So I don't know if I should be impressed by the fact that I randomly broke a record, or by the fact that this 2010 racing game is so terribly optimized. Even without counting the FPS figures, I can tell that it's still running basically the same as before. But anyway, I hope the person who requested this game is happy nevertheless, because I don't want him to end up spamming that request in future comments sections. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you people of the internet in the next one. Bye bye.